Uh, Fox's senior political analyst. Britt, welcome. The messaging from the White House was supposed to be all Donald Trump inaccurate, trying to sell us that the pandemic was over. But well, we still got a messaging problem from the White House, don't we? Well, we do when he's trying to blame the uh, lack of uh, full uh, enough people being vaccinated on Facebook. Facebook isn't responsible for that. Facebook, if anything, has been kind of a handmaiden of the White House in trying to suppress information that it, Facebook, and the White House don't like and is now being invited to do so in a more formal way. Certainly not fair to blame it on Facebook. I think that the messaging from the White House and other health authorities throughout this pandemic, which has turned out to be either wrong or later contradicted or, and so on throughout this whole uh, season of the pandemic, has left people wondering what, to, what they can truly believe. And I think that is responsible in large measure for the fact that, that a lot of people are still reluctant to get the shot. You know, you have people who don't like shots anyway. Um, and then you have people like Robert F. Kennedy who are anti-vaxxers uh, out there uh, who are promoting this information. But I think trying to blame Facebook was a mistake. It's a huge mistake. The dirty dozen, and they give, them, give us the rankings as if we're all uh, sheep and don't make our own decisions. Like if seniors don't know that they're seniors or people compromised don't know they're compromised. But I digress. The Texas legislators who came here and looked at themselves as heroes and Chuck Schumer looked up to him teary-eyed now find themselves overwhelmed by the reality that they irresponsibly left Austin with no battle plan and now find themselves the subject of being COVID-19 positive, not warriors for a cause. What's your reaction to how they stepped on their message? Well, the whole trip has turned out to be a complete fiasco, uh, you know, because leaving the... the uh, the legislature down there and depriving it of a quorum is interfering with the democratic process in the state of Texas. And what are they here to protest? Alleged interference in the democratic process because of a law on voting and how it's to be conducted that has been pa passed by the, the uh, Texas House and is headed for the test by the Texas Senate and is headed for the House. So to protest interference in the democratic process they are guess what interfering in the democratic right. process and then, and then they fly up here and come down a bunch of them come down with covid right. which is extremely embarrassing so the whole trip i think is just a total loss for them as a as a political matter right uh, speaking of uh, total loss every time the vice president takes on a mission they seem to be raising eyebrows for example her latest mission to get everyone vaccinated she tapped into the bible let's listen together the very essence of what the Bible tells us when it says, love thy neighbor. Mm -hmm. And in the face of that stranger, you see a friend. That's what this is about. And so by getting vaccinated, you are loving your neighbor. Now I get it. What's your reaction to Reverend Harris? Well, look, if you want to get a, to get a shot, on the theory that you won't be likely to contract the disease and you'll be unlikely to spread it, and that's, and that's a, an act of generosity toward your neighbor. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it seems a little bit of a stretch, but uh, you know, my view of that is uh, love your neighbor is a good message. Um, Brian, there's something I'd like to mention here, yep. and that is that all of this discussion now of people getting infected after having the vaccines is a little bit is a, a little bit uh, needs a little bit of perspective, which is which is simply this: we don't know how sick these people are who are getting it. We don't know you know how grave a threat it is. We hear you know 40 percent of hospitalizations in Britain are people who are vaccinated. We don't know how sick they are. Um, and all along, the reason for the extreme measures that were taken, the shutdowns, the closing of the schools, the constant wearing of the masks, and so all, which has done great collateral damage to our country, has Huge. been on the premise that we're dealing with a deadly disease. I think the presence of the vaccine and the fact that a great many people have natural immunity occasioned by the fact that they had the vaccine and survived it has meant that this thing is simply not the threat it once was. You know, it's fun to talk about the cases and how many there are and so on. But the fact of the matter is that this, this virus now, because of all that's happened, is very much less dangerous than it used to be. And let us pray, Brian, that we don't lapse back into lockdowns and universal masking and all those things that have been so difficult. 
Yeah, that's where we'll be the blame because then we put idiots in charge, and that has proven to be counterproductive. That means they don't learn from any of their mistakes. Britt, you've been saying that all along. Appreciate your perspective as usual. Thanks so much. Yeah. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.